Yeah, this video is about Drake versus Kanye West. Draco versus the Ursa Minor constellation. The real reason why Drake don't mess with Kanye West. Now you see a picture of Drake underwater. Now you see a picture of Draco constellation in space, which is in water. One and the same. Now let's get it. You see Kanye West running for president, right? So... Team Ursa Minor. Uh huh. Here's a picture of Kanye and Drake. Uh huh. Here's a picture of Draco and Ursa Minor. And you see how the Draco constellation is above Ursa Minor. Uh huh. Yep. Drake is on the rise still, and Kanye is declining. Uh huh. You see Pusha T art cover. Uh huh. For that one album, and you know. Pusha T and Drake's beef, right? Let's get it. More images of Pusha T. You know that one song, Infrared by Pusha T. He this Drake. That's what he said. It was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin. Duffy freestyle, Drake respond. I pop style for 30 hours, then let him repeat. So Drake gave... Kanye, this song pop style. Uh huh. And Drake gave Kanye that song 30 Hours that Kanye used for the Pablo album. Drake helped co write Yikes, that's on a Yay album. Pusha T keeps saying Drake don't write, but Drake keep writing Kanye stuff. Mm, sounds crazy. You know the story of Added Dawn. Uh huh. Remember, Drake said he played he played that one song for Kanye about his baby. Uh huh. And then shortly after, Pusha T made this song, the story of Adidon, where Pusha T exposed Drake for hiding his baby. Uh huh. Now let's get it. Pusha T say this song, the story of Adidon. You are hiding a child. Let that boy come home. Uh huh. And then Drake on the Scorpion album made that one song, uh huh, March 14, where Drake revealed to the world about his baby, but not before Pusha T. Uh huh, let's get it. Some lyrics <laughs> on that one song by Drake, March 14. I used to challenge my parents on every album. Now I'm embarrassed to tell them I ended, I ended up as a co-parent. Facts. You know that one song, Lift Yourself. Kanye gave it to Drake, but ended up using it for himself and doing something else with the track. Let's read some lyrics. Whoopity scoop, scoopity scoop, whoopity scoop poop. And then that one song by Pusha T and Kanye, What Would Mink Do? Knowing that Drake does beef with Meek Mill. Facts. So let's read some lyrics by Kanye on that song, What Would Meek Do? Poop, scoop, whoop, whoopity whoop. So Kanye does the same thing that he did on Lift Yourself. Uh-huh. He do it on this song, What Would Meek Do? Despite Drake. Facts. And then, you know, Meek Mill out and Drake for having a ghostwriter. And then that Meek Mill song, I Wanna Know. Then the beef started with Meek, Meek, Meek Mill and Drake. And then, you know, the back and forth between Drake and Meek Mill. Drake with that one song, Summer 16. And Meek Mill with that song, War Pain. Drake with that song, Charged Up. Drake with that song, Back to Back. And he body Meek Mill. And then let's go back to that one song by Pusha T and Kanye. What would Mink do? Let's read some lyrics by Kanye. See what he said. Drizzy wearing Yeezys on a low though. Only repping Nike for a promo. <laughs> let's get it. You know, Drake's motto. Checks over stripes. Facts. And checks over gaps. Facts. You know, Drake was set to release in June. 
Uh-huh. The Scorpion album, June 28th. See the coat? See the art cover? Uh-huh. For Drake's Scorpion album. And then remember, Kanye changed his release date. Despite Drake, it was the first day of June. Uh-huh. Facts. Remember that one song by Kanye? No mistakes. He dissing light-skinned people. So let's read some lyrics off this one song by Kanye, No Mistakes. Too rich to fight you, calm down, you light-skinned. Uh-huh. This part is about light-skinned. Uh-huh. You know that one song, School Spirit, off Kanye's first album, The College Dropout. Let's read some lyrics. This song is called School Spirit by Kanye. On his first album, Kanye say this, I'ma make sure these light-skinned dudes never, ever, ever come back in style. Facts. Uh-huh. He meant that. And then you see Drake on, you know what I mean? That, what's it called? Drake was in that Little Yachty song. I forgot what it's called, but go watch that. And remember... Little Yachty is interviewing Drake, and then Drake saying, "My light skin capabilities, uh huh, uh huh." Taking shots at Kanye, Cause you know Kanye, kind of racist against light skin people, uh huh. Let's get it. Light skin dudes, <laughs> when Drake music come on, facts. I remember Drake open up to LeBron about Kanye and his baby. He even showed pictures to LeBron and that other dude. Uh huh. On that HBO special, facts. And my feelings by Drake. Kiki, do you love me? Had the whole world singing that. Even Kanye's daughter. Remember, Northwest singing that. Uh huh. Kiki, do you love me? And Kanye, he got offended. And he made a video about it. Uh huh. And you know, Drake and that Travis Scott song, Sicko Mo. Uh huh. Checks over stripes. Facts. And you know, Drake freestyle behind the bars. He dissing Kanye and Pusha T. Drake <clears throat> on fire in the booth. He dissing Kanye and Pusha T again. Um, that one song, Drake and Future, Life is Good. Uh huh. <laughs> he dissing Kanye again. The Chicago freestyle. Drake, he's saying he's taking over Chicago and he's talking to the Windy City like she a person, personification. Remember that Kanye song, Homecoming, where Kanye, he talks to the Windy City and personification? Uh-huh. Look at Drake, one and the same. Chicago freestyle, do the same thing, talking to the Windy City. Kanye song, Homecoming, talking to the Windy City. Facts. I remember Drake on that rap radar, he opened up about Kanye and said he don't know if Kanye gonna make secular music again. And then you know, Kanye West made that album, Jesus is King. And you know, that one song, Closed on Sunday, uh-huh, Kanye. He takes shots at Drake. Stand up for my home. Uh huh. And then, and then Kanye said, Drake, don't call me, don't call me secular. Don't call me non secular. Don't call me secular. Whatever, Kanye. And you know that one song by Drake? That's a classic. Laugh now, cry later with Lil Dirt. <laughs> Picture of the Gap logo. <laughs> Let's read this. Gap recently inked a 10 year deal with Kanye West. Uh huh. And let read some lyrics on that song. Laugh now, cry later. Could Drake take shots at Kanye again? This in between us is not like a store. This isn't a closable gap. I see dudes attack and 
and don't end up making it back. Uh-huh. So checks over gaps. <clears throat> Good Dre. <laughs> Showing Nike. Uh-huh. Sponsoring Nike. Facts. <clears throat> Kanye logo when he take over Gap. <clears throat> And then, you know, Drake, he gave tribute to Nipsey Hussle. Uh-huh. And this song, Laugh Now, Cry Later. Uh-huh. That Nipsey Hussle album, Victory Lap. Go listen to that. So let's read some lyrics by Drake. Any time that I ran into somebody, it must be a victory lap. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good Drake. <laughs> On a jet ski. Remember Nipsey Hussle? He was on a boat in that one video. Victory lap. Uh huh. Uh huh. Look at Drake. <laughs> Giving a shout out to Nipsey. Uh huh. And you know, Nike, the female goddess of victory. So Drake, he was playing off that Nipsey Hussle. And that Nike, which is, you know, the goddess of victory. So, victory lap, right? <laughs> right? And victory lap for Nipsey Hussle, right? So, victory lap for Nike, the female goddess of victory. And, you know, <laughs> a victory lap for Nipsey, of course. Let's get it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like this part, Drake. He get tackled. Facts. Good, Drake. And old oh girl. Uh-huh. She's Nike, the female goddess of victory. But I'm going to do a video later about that. Uh-huh. Good, Drake. Uh-huh. Let's read some lyrics by Kanye from that one song called Facts. Kanye say... If Nike ain't have Drizzy, man, they wouldn't have nothing. Woo! Uh-huh. Look at Drake. Sponsoring Nike. And I can hear this song, Laugh Now, Cry Later, played at the NBA games. Wow, Drake. Classic song. Look at your boy Kanye crying at the rally. <laughs> He was laughing at Drake first. Now he's crying. Uh-huh. And you know, Drake, he won. He beat Kanye. The victory lap. Nike. The female goddess of victory. Facts. He won. The war. Uh-huh. Kanye won a lot of battles, but Drake won the war. Uh-huh. Facts. Nike over Gap. Facts. <clears throat> Checks over stripes. Checks over gaps. Uh-huh. Please like. Please subscribe. Hip Hop Historian. Put this in my archives. Uh-huh. Thank you.